the epic love of Edmund and Eleanor. In the heart of Victorian England, in the sprawling Ashford Manor surrounded by acres of lush gardens and rolling hills, lived Edmund Ashford. He was the second son of the Duke of Ashford, a family steeped in tradition and privilege. Edmund, however, was unlike the typical aristocrats of his time. He was a man of intellect, fascinated by the sciences and arts, and had a humble disposition that endeared him to many. But what truly set him apart was his love for Eleanor Thompson, the daughter of a local merchant. Eleanor was a radiant beauty with a keen mind, a compassionate heart, and a spirit that seemed to defy the constraints of their conservative society. She was passionate about social causes, and had a love for literature that matched Edmund's own. Their love story began at a local charity event where they were both volunteers. Their eyes met across a crowded room, and in that instant, both felt a connection that neither could easily explain. Over time, their friendship blossomed into love, nurtured by stolen moments and secret rendezvous. However, Eleanor's father, Mr. Thompson had other plans. Intent on elevating his social standing, he arranged for Eleanor to marry Lord Blackwood, a man of immense wealth but dubious character. Eleanor was devastated but felt powerless to defy her father's wishes. Just when Edmund was about to declare his intentions to Eleanor and her family, a monumental challenge arose. His older brother, Charles, fell gravely ill, and Edmund was sent to the Americas to oversee the family's business interests there. Torn between love and duty, Edmund chose the latter, promising Eleanor he would return for her. Edmund's journey to the Americas was fraught with peril. The voyage itself was treacherous, with storms battering the ship and causing significant delays. Once he arrived, he found the family's business in disarray, plagued by poor management and dishonest employees. But Edmund was not one to be easily defeated. He rolled up his sleeves and delved into the work, using his keen intellect and managerial skills to turn things around. He renegotiated contracts, improved working conditions, and even fought off an attempt by local bandits to hijack their goods. Throughout this period, he corresponded regularly with Eleanor, their letters filled with longing and promises of a future together. Eleanor, for her part, managed to stall her wedding to Lord Blackwood, pleading for more time to consider her decision. After two arduous years, Edmund received word that his brother had recovered. His mission was complete, but he had lost valuable time. He returned to England, only to find that Eleanor's marriage to Lord Blackwood was imminent. Desperate but not defeated, Edmund knew he had one last card to play. During his time in the Americas, he had discovered a rare mineral deposit that promised to bring immense wealth. He quickly secured the rights to the deposit and returned to England, hoping the prospect would be enough to sway Mr. Thompson. Upon his return, Edmund wasted no time. He went straight to Mr. Thompson and presented his case. Intrigued but skeptical, Mr. Thompson posed a challenge. Edmund had one month to turn his discovery into a profitable venture, or he would lose Eleanor forever. The next month was a blur of activity for Edmund. He leveraged every contact he had ever made, from old school friends to business associates. He worked day and night, often foregoing sleep and meals to meet his goal. Slowly but surely, the venture started to bear fruit. On the final day of the month, a letter arrived from the Crown, offering a lucrative contract for the mineral rights. Elated, Edmund rushed to Eleanor, who had been stalling her wedding, still holding a glimmer of hope for his return. When she saw him, her face lit up like dawn. Edmund presented the contract to Mr. Thompson, who, true to his word, gave his blessing for Edmund to marry Eleanor. The wedding was a grand affair, attended by the who's who of English society. It was a union of not just two people deeply in love, but also a merging of two worlds, aristocracy and commerce, tradition and modernity. As they stood at the altar, exchanging vows that sealed their eternal love, Edmund realized he had overcome monumental challenges, not for glory or wealth, but for the one thing that mattered most, love. And so, in a world bound by societal norms and familial duties, Edmund and Eleanor found their forever, proving that true love knows no bounds, and no challenge is too monumental when two hearts beat as one.